And they are watching the lights here at the UCI Mountain Bike Cross Country Olympic World Cup in Nova Meso Namarave, and they are go, go, go. Who is going to lead them up the bridge for the first time? And it is a Dutch rider, it is Puck Piers leading away at the front of this one. Evie Richards slotting in behind her. Specialized racing riders out to the left hand side, and it is going to be full chat into this start loop as expected. Bart, clean start for everyone. Clean start so far, riders. Having uh, looking for their positions. It's and what uh, Rebecca Henderson already said uh, at the top of the start loop, actually. If you reach us now, Bailey Batten, Tina Fry. On the riders are still very close together. Pick Peters now, fifth place. Well practiced these things, but nothing like the stress of race day to. Uh, Nullify the best laid plans. Richards now though, looking good at the front of this. That seems to stabilize. 16 seconds back yeah. to Peters. Different line of Big Peters over here. On the canyon. There is the world champion, Pauline Ferran Prevo. Jersey probably not big enough for how many sets of stripes she has to put on it. Martina Berta off Italy. And you can Otherwise, get it you, have to, you have to take another lap to, uh, for another drink. So it's, it's quite crucial to, to do it right. Hydration critical. And of course, each of these bottles measured out almost to the milliliter. That's how it is. Probably not, not that uh, last anymore as has been before. Rick Peterson and there is Pauline Ferrand yeah. together. But they have to work together now to close that gap. A little bit more than 10 seconds. Mountain bike racing, uh, a very individual sport, Bart, compared to the likes of road. But uh, they can work together, these two, now to help Ray and Richards in, can't they? Yeah, and also they can motivate each other as well. And uh, Pauline immediately going to the front. Back over the shoulder for Puck. Yeah, that uh, chasing group is still a bit uh, further down. Cedric, where was the biggest? Uh, where was the biggest crowd that pushed you on? She over has years? a flat tire. Oh, yeah. oh no! Is that, right. is that rear has, looking soft? Has. Yes, rear is yeah. looking soft. Richards looking down. Bart has spotted it, but she's approaching attack zone. Yeah, yeah. Signals Waving to the team. To her wheel. Rear wheel. Now here we go. Track How much time racing. will this cost, Evie Richards? How quickly can Track Factory Racing turn this bike around and get her back out into the action? She steps away from the bike. Yeah, the mechanic has to do the work. And this is it. She can't look at it. She's staying calm, takes the yeah. gel, takes the opportunity. Try to stay calm. And here and comes Peters. Here comes Peran Bravo. They'll smell blood in the water. <laughs> they smell blood in the water. Yeah. <laughs> and that back wheel not looking like it wants to go in. The numbers one and two in the race now, Pauline Peran Bravo and Pip Petersen. You do not give two racers with this much experience that kind of in. All that work for Evie Richards, heartbreaking. Just as we saw her teammate Riley Amos. Well, Maddie, the already minutes. more than half a minute, isn't it? Yeah. We don't see it at She's seconds. away Back again. On the bike. 49 49 seconds. 49 seconds, exactly. 49 oh, seconds. no. Oh, the and, chain. And, uh, chain. Chain now has slipped. She's still in the tag zone. Her mechanics still can be there to help her. Yeah. Evie, Evie that, that's Richards. the stress. Let's rejoin the front of it. We actually saw her teammate Riley Amos, the under 23 race, track factory race, and suffered the same thing, a rear, a rear puncture for his race whilst at the front of it. Just yesterday, Puck Peters now sending it on. Puck Peters, Pauline Ferrand Prevot, the numbers one and two in the race after that flat tire of Evie Richards. Evie Richards now dropped back to the ninth place. So they have to work and they have to push hard the whole time. Let's just watch these two down this descent then. Ah, Pick was uh, that asking uh, Pauline to be in front of her. And why is that? Oh, Try to see different lines maybe, to learn a little maybe bit a little from bit her. Of gamesmanship creeping in, Bart. What line do you like down here? That might be of use to me in a couple of laps time. But Pauline, she's uh, a formidable descender, as we've mentioned into the ACDC section now. Very experienced, Pauline, and Puck, of course, still a very young rider. One more lap, final lap. Loana Lecomte was honing in on the final lap now. Pauline ferran leads the way, won the goal, and it's six seconds. Puck Peters is behind her. 
Puck Peters for Alpeson, the Kernick is coming behind her. And behind her again is Luana Lacombe for Canyon Collective. Pauline ferrand on the number five bike, wearing the world champion stripes. Heads up the Shimano expert climb. For the last time, Puck Peters in close attendance. Look, Peters is coming back to her. She's coming back to her, isn't she, coming back to her. Here we go. There they are. Together. This is it. Nova Meso Namarave always delivers. Luana Lacombe will fancy a slice of this one as well. Yeah, yeah. She's not that Flying far up. up that climb, Bart. <laughs> Tucked it on oh, up there. She's so strong in the climbs. And, and now she's she's even more motivated. Here we go. Pauline checks over the shoulder. There is the blue jersey of the opposite, the Kernick youngster, Puck Peters. Mechanics roaring them on. Crowd roaring roar them on. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Pauline, Pauline nearly rides into yeah, her own taxi. over her shoulder and then she moved to the right. She's still there, Pauline. I've got news for you. She's still there. Yeah, but she was looking back over her shoulder, I think, to Luana Lecomte. She's not waiting for her at all. Nope. Lecomte still five seconds back now. Yes, These now two. Peters who tried to overtake it. Puck Peters moves to the front of this race and attacks Pauline for Ampravo. Puck Peters to the front now. Is this it? The gap is there. There's a little bit of a gap. Puck Peters digs deep. Pauline ferran is she in trouble or is she just marshalling things out That's before they head back to the Visocina Arena the for the last time? Look at her power. Luana Lecomte out of the saddle now, digging deep. Puck Peters. A little bit of a gap. Puck Peters. Fancied being in the front of this descent. Down through the steps for the last time. Pauline Ferran she's coming back here in this descent. Legs screaming, arms screaming, back screaming, everything in pain, but a win at the opening UCI Mountain Bike Cross Country Olympic World Cup of the Year is on the table. And if that's on the table, you've got to pick it up. Lecomte still five seconds back now. These now Puck Peters who tried to overtake. Puck Peters moves to the front of this race and attacks Pauline for Ampravo. Puck Peters to the front now. Is yeah. this it? The gap is there. There's a little bit of a gap. Puck Peters digs deep. Pauline for Ampravo. Is she in trouble or is she just marshalling things out That's before they head back to the Visocina Arena the for the last time? Look at her power. Luana Lecomte out of the saddle now, digging deep. Puck Peters. A little bit of a gap. Puck Peters fancied being in the front of this descent. Down through the steps for the last time. Pauline ferrand she's coming back here in this descent. Legs screaming, arms screaming, back screaming, everything in pain, but a win at the opening UCI Mountain Bike Cross Country Olympic World Cup of the Year is on the table. And if that's on the table, you've got to pick it up. Down through these jumps for the last time. It's just these jumps and two turns that stand between Puck Peters and victory. Down into the right-hander. Puck what a Peters performance. swings in the canyon for Alpeson de Koenig. Sprinting, sprinting, everything burning, head going. She knows Pauline Ferran Prevost can sprint, but she can't sprint from that far back. Ferran Prevost, head down, draped over the bar. She knows it hasn't been enough today. Puck Peters swings left for the last time and heads into the Visocina Arena. Puck Peters is about to take her debut UCI mountain bike cross country Olympic elite level World Cup victory. The Dutch woman. Takes the line and takes the win. Pauline ferrand Bravo is left to watch behind her after what was an absolute tussle of the muscle for the entire way round there. Bart Brenchens is celebrating a Dutch win beside me. Oh, amazing, amazing. Pauline ferrand Bravo there just cramping up the Puck Peters. We did set the start of this a wild card. We weren't sure what to expect from her. Now we know. I don't know what happened. I only knew, yeah, normally my start is really good, but we were going so fast and yeah, I thought I totally blew myself up, but it looked like the others did too. So, uh, and then, uh, yeah, Pauline and I were going in front of each other, kept going in front of each other and I think after a few laps, uh, Evie had a flat or something. 
and then I was suddenly racing uh, for the front and I didn't know what to do, but I just uh, tried to keep calm and it worked out. For Alphys in the Koenig, her first elite level UCI World Cup mountain bike cross country Olympic victory. Puck Peters from Holland takes the win for Alphys in the Koenig. Leftover from the 23 races, of course, yesterday, the highlights of which you can find on our YouTube channel. Puck Peters is just. Uh, taking care of that in swift succession and she'll smash Pauline's as well Puck Peters in takes the win ahead of Pauline Ferran Bravo, Luana Lacombe, D.V. Richards Alessandra Keller, Terpstra, Boe Henderson, Fry and Martina Barra are your top ten then it's Batten, Mittenwalner, Courtney, Rispeds Yolanda Neff back in 15 ahead of Linda Indergrand Fem Van Empel, Laura Steger, Anna Tauber down in 20th, Gwendolyn Gibson 28th, full of hope for more today, Annie Last, uh, champion of Great Britain in 30th, Malena Degen, 31st behind her, 